Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. The United States has always regarded technology as its own private domain, trying to curb China's development through technological blockades. Since the trade war, the United States has become more and more severe in curbing China's technology, and even joined South Korea and other countries to impose more severe sanctions on China's semiconductor industry. However, before the news of the joint sanctions by the United States was announced, China had a good news. In just five years, China has achieved the feat of going from zero to occupying half of the mobile phone display market, successfully surpassing South Korea, and maintaining a leading position in the world. This seems to indicate that Biden's blockade plan has faced setbacks before it is implemented. So, in the face of the joint suppression of the United States and South Korea, how should China respond? It took China five years to achieve a breakthrough from nothing to something, and successfully surpass South Korea to become the world's number one. This achievement fully demonstrates that the US blockade measures only postponed the hope of success, but could not stop China's final breakthrough. Recently, some media reported that the United States is joining forces with South Korea and even Japan to try to form a comprehensive blockade of China's semiconductor industry. The US action not only brought in Japan, but also successfully persuaded South Korea to join. You know, the Netherlands controls the global supply of lithography machines, Japan provides key raw materials such as photoresist, and South Korea has a significant advantage in the field of semiconductor deep processing. The US move is obviously an attempt to impose an all-round blockade on China without any breathing space. However, just as Biden was pushing forward this plan, China announced an exciting news. In the field of smartphone OLED displays, China has grown from zero market share to half of the market in just five years, not only achieving a major breakthrough in technology, but also successfully surpassing its competitors. This achievement is extraordinary. In the past, the display field was led by Taiwan and South Korea, and China has been trying to catch up. From LCD to today's OLED technology, China's rise in this field has been difficult. Although we once controlled almost all of the LCD market, we have launched a fierce competition with South Korea in the field of OLED. Just as China's shipbuilding industry has always been difficult to completely gain the upper hand in the competition with South Korea, this has also prompted China to continue to invest huge R&D forces in this field. Today, we have finally made a major breakthrough and successfully occupied more than half of the market share. Compared with the same period last year, our market share has increased by nearly 10%. Looking back to 2019, we only occupied about 10% of the market share, but now we have successfully occupied more than half. This means that we are not far from leading the market in an all-round way. In the field of mature technology, scale often determines the future. Whoever can achieve large-scale production can effectively reduce costs and thus more easily occupy the dominant position in the market. Some people may think that our surpassing in the panel industry does not mean that we can easily break through the blockade in the chip field. However, they may overlook the key role of panels in smart devices. Now that we have successfully occupied the dominant position in the panel market, it means that we are also close to a breakthrough in the chip field. More importantly, it took us only five years from zero to occupying half of the market. This fully shows that as long as we continue to work hard, it is not far away to achieve a breakthrough in the field of semiconductor chips in the future. In addition, as we catch up in the fields of panels and shipbuilding, will South Korea dare to continue to follow the United States in imposing a blockade on China's semiconductors? This is undoubtedly a question worthy of attention.
What China needs to do is not only to break through the technological blockade of Europe and the United States, but more importantly, to establish an independent industrial system and ecosystem. From panels to chips, and then to the system level, China is committed to breaking external dependence and achieving independent and controllable development goals. Taking Microsoft's blue screen incident as an example, why was China able to escape? This is mainly due to our independent research and development technology strength and capabilities. The core problem of the United States attempt to join South Korea to impose a blockade on China's semiconductor industry is that there is still a certain gap between China and South Korea in the field of memory chips. However, this does not mean that we cannot catch up, but it just takes time and continuous efforts. With the continuous development of chip technology, more and more technical experts believe that Moore's law is gradually failing. In the future, competition in the semiconductor field will no longer focus only on the intermediate production link, but will shift to the end packaging and testing link. This is undoubtedly a huge opportunity for China. Because we have strong strength and experience in semiconductor packaging and testing. The technological progress from 7 nanometers to 5 nanometers is still significant, but the progress from 5 nanometers to 3 nanometers seems negligible. At the same time, in the field of high end chip applications, Chinese companies such as Huawei, Xiaomi, and Vivo have become big buyers. These factors provide us with opportunities and possibilities for breakthroughs. Huawei's return also further proves that we are getting closer and closer to the goal of breaking through the blockade. What we need now is to maintain a stable mentality and continue to work hard. After all, we have seen the hope of success in the field of panels and shipbuilding. In the past, we have faced distrust and suspicion, but now we need to have firm confidence. Because it has been proved that we have the ability to do better than the West expects. As long as we can break the technological blockade of Europe and the United States, we can break through restrictions in various fields and accelerate the process of change in the international community. Technology not only represents the power of future wealth distribution, but also holds the key to human progress. As long as we can get to this point, many of the current problems will be greatly alleviated. Therefore, at this critical moment, we should maintain confidence and move forward unswervingly.